Hello and welcome back to another Hot Tip Tuesday. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all the tips on the WorkSharp Field Sharpener. All right, and to kick it off here, I think the number one tip for you is to have a couple of these. I like the idea of keeping one in your pack, maybe one at home, keep one in the truck, the center console, you know, have one at work. Uh, it, this way you just rule out the possibility of not having one around when your knife gets dull, when you're using it, and you can always touch it up, and it's almost always within arm's reach. You know, I wouldn't be making this video if I wasn't a super fan of the field sharpener. I think it delivers a lot in a very small manageable tool. This is one that could, like I said, go in your pack. It can go in your cargo pants when you're in the woods if you're on a hunt. Uh, I really like what this tool brings to the sharpening world. The other tip for you that I have is though is that WorkSharp doesn't give you a little case to keep it in. So you probably have a glasses case from those glasses that you keep breaking and losing. They always send you a new pair and uh, you just have accumulated all these glasses cases. Well, in most cases, the, uh, the WorkSharp Field Sharpener will fit nicely right inside one of those. And that way it keeps, the, it keeps the diamond plates from getting banged up when you're carrying it. It keeps dirt and other debris from getting in the leather uh, for, the, for the strop. And all around, it's just, a, it's just nice to have just a nice little case to keep your field sharpener in. The next one is just kind of uh, an opportunity to segue into my favorite one, but that is just to make sure you know that those diamond plates are magnetic, they are removable. You can flip them over so that the abrasive is on the inside, uh, and that way you don't get them banged up if you don't have them in a case or anything like that. Uh, the other thing to note there is uh, look inside and there's a nice little storage place. I'd like to hear back from you. Leave a note in the comments on what you would leave or what you do leave in that little compartment inside your field sharpener. Maybe it's a fishing hook and some line. Maybe it's a couple zip ties. I don't know. Let me know. Maybe it's a little money, right? Like whatever, uh, whatever you put in there, let me know in the comments. All right, so you probably know that there's a lot of different ways to use this tool. You can use it on the bench with the angle guide, and uh, you can also use, you know, keep the knife still and use the tool in your hand. And I, I of the two, I found that I prefer that one. But maybe uh, one thing that is less known or not practiced, but something that I really liked after I started doing it is I take the, the diamond plates off of the tool and I use just the diamond plates. I find that it gives me a lot more access to get into the heel of the knife and I have a little, I get a better view of the blade while I'm working it. So I wanted to invite you to try that. Yo, make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I will be showing you where you can purchase these and I'm also gonna be hosting a giveaway and I'll be telling you how you can get into that giveaway. All right, and my last hot tip for the WorkSharp Field Sharpener is to take the time to learn how to use it. So some things that I'm thinking about here, like if you're stuck in traffic or if you're on a long drive with one of your boys, like pull it out of the console and be like, yo, dude, you got your knife on you? Like work on it, you know, and like practice. And when you're on your lunch break at work and your knife is dull, like use it, practice, figure out how to use it, try all these different things and find the method that works for you. If you're not super proficient at sharpening, I wanna use this as an opportunity to plug my course, The Fundamentals of Knife and Tool Sharpening, and you can find a link to that in the description of this video. Lastly, I just need to let you know where you can get one of these. Clearly, you can get one on Amazon. I also sell one in my shop, but I don't compete with Amazon because I would be silly. So uh, you're going to spend more if you buy it from me, but know in advance that I appreciate that and it supports me doing the things that I do. So uh, don't rule out that as a possibility and thanks in advance for considering it. If you happen to be local to Lee, New Hampshire, where I am, I do sell these locally at a price that is competitive with Amazon. Uh, so make sure you look me up and um, pick one up that way. And lastly, lastly, I'm gonna give one of these away. So I invite you to go into the description and find the link to the giveaway 
And next week, I will be selecting somebody at random from all the people that sign up at that giveaway, and I will be dropping one of these in the mail to you. Please understand I'm only gonna be shipping this to the United States. My apologies to my foreign friends. It's just that customs is ridiculous and the international shipping is ridiculous. So my apologies in advance. I appreciate your support anyway, and um, go sign up. All right, I hope you found these tips helpful. I hope you stock up on a few of these WorkSharp field sharpeners. And also, please know that these make awesome gifts for anybody in your life that uses knives, which is pretty much everybody. So until next week, I'll see you on the next Hot Tip Tuesday. Stay sharp.